Welcome back to a bit of. Got Rob and I was on the couch. I'm Rob. I'm on the couch. Um, Jellybean's on the couch too. Just died on me. Hold on. Ives' dog is on the couch with us. She probably there turned the controller off. She did. So we we just killed the first pseudo boss, the false knight. Yep. Um, I'm over you, here now. Yeah. You want to go, go down as the left? You want to go to the left? Just straight up, go to the left. Straight up left. Straight up left. Uh, down one and to the left. There you go. Everything's gonna start turning a little bit green. Yes. It's the Pilgrim's Way. The travelers of Hollowness descend. Okay. I don't have to read it. It's fine. Whatever. What's this do? Okay. Yeah, exactly. So if you tried to come in this area before killing that other guy uh -huh. and getting that power up, you wouldn't be able to kill that guy. Right. It's like the doors in Metroid. Exactly. Yeah. You need you need the missiles to get through the green doors. I'm eating a lot of shit right now. Come here. You took a hit, and he took a hit. You took a hit, and he yeah. didn't take a hit. Getting a... Oh, you're gonna eat it. Yeah, I am. Fuck. A lot of diminishing returns happening. Yep. So, <laughs> do well. not... Do not die on your way back to collect your soul. You will lose all the money that you've collected. No! All right. You need that money. So there we go... Gonna go left. left and then up and then left. So you see your your healing ball yeah, where you store where you store your milk. That's so it. now that it's broken, you can't really you can't fill it. Okay. You can you can fill it up to a certain point, but not all the way. So yeah. you want to go go get your soul, and to get your soul back, you don't like just collect it. You have to defeat it. Okay. So you have to fight your soul to put it back into your body. Gotcha. Your dark tendrils. Whee! Damn it. That was a leap of faith. Yeah. This way, right? It was that way, yeah. You can tell because it's all lush and green. There's your soul or your dark tendrils. There you go. Alright, motherfucker. Now take your time. What? Look Shoot the it. guy. Alright. What are you doing? Ah, damn it. I didn't see that one. Getting impatient, that's what's happening. Yeah, what happened? You were good at this game a second ago. Oh. Motherfucker. Now you're crap at this game. <laughs> Way to start off a new episode. <laughs> so you always come back at your... At the very last bench that you saved at. Okay. So that that's all the more reason any time you pass a bench, you want to save at that bench. Yeah. Because I've gone, like, the whole length of the map without saving. And, like, you never want to be on a... one side of the map and have to go to the other side of the map. Okay. It sucks. The only benefit is, like, oh, you make more money on the way back. Yeah. But you might die on the way back, too. Don't go in the poo gas water. The poop gas. Poo gas water is dirty. Oh shit. What did I just say? <laughs> I just told you not to go in the poo gas water. And then you did. You didn't listen. The bog of eternal stench. It's mildly stinky. This is like the most colorful area we've been so far. Yeah. Green path. Welcome to Green Path. Birdies. I guess those guys are the most not bug like guys in the game. Yeah. The birds. So. <clears throat> we're talking about. Uh... Yes, I would fuck Link to get to Zelda. <laughs> T 
tired of repeating it, Ives. That was a stink bug. Stink bug. Now you're covered in green stink. I mean, orange stink. What were we talking about, you were saying? Uh, we were talking about a number of things before, but one thing I wanted to bring up, because I've been going to physical therapy the last few weeks. Oh yeah, for your hip? For my hip. And, um... For that sex injury that you had? Yeah. And, um... The other day, there was, like, a woman there. She were, you were you showing her your thrusting? No. She was an older lady, and, like, she... Um... Like, lost her phone, but she wasn't sure if she had, like, misplaced it while she was at physical therapy. So she was doing that thing of, like, looking around and, like, asking about, you know, did someone call it? Sure. And I think they did, and they couldn't find it anywhere, so, like... She's freaking out. She's like, well, I gotta get together with, like, a friend of mine later, and I don't know her number. Like, I don't have her number except yeah. for my phone. Um, they're like, well, you can't remember at all, because we could, we could call it from, like, our phone here. She's like, no, it's, you know, it's in my phone. I don't have it memorized. They're like, okay. Well, they're like, well, maybe we could look her up and, like, look up the number and call it. Okay. And so they're like, uh, what's her name? She's like, she gave the first name. They're like, all right, what's her last name? She's like, I don't know. <laughs> All right, so there's no looking up. I'm like, oh, so this is, they're like, so this is an acquaintance of yours. She's like, no, it's a really close friend. I've known her for 20 years. She must be like the Jane like, Smith of the group. Yeah. I'm like, really? All right. Well, what, like, do you know her address? Like, maybe we could look her up that way. I'm like, no. Super So weird. everyone's just like <laughs> looking at each other like, is this lady serious? Like, does she know what close friend means? Yeah, exactly. They're like, are you sure you don't mean like an acquaintance from work? Because like, that's what this that sounds like. That, yeah. She's like, no, I've known her for 20 years. Like, we've hung out a bunch of times. Like, I know where, <laughs> like, I've known coworkers for 20 years. Yeah. I know where they live. Yeah. <laughs> so everyone was just like, weirded out. Ever after she left, everyone was like, I don't think she understands the concept of what a close friend yeah, is. Yeah, exactly. Does this thing just never die? Okay, it does. <laughs> Does this thing never? Oh, it's dead. <laughs> this thing's never gonna. Oh, it's gone. <laughs> I see a dollar. Do you see the dollar? Oh, it's I weird. mean the geo. Do you see the geo? It's over here. I found it. Splodoodle. So we were talking about ball funneling before. I don't know if you wanted to mention that on the show. Oh yeah, we, we can talk about ball funneling. <laughs> I enjoy it. Do you do you like ball funneling? I've I've never had my well. I can't say I've never. I've only had my balls fondled by a medical professional once. Um, I have had the. I don't think it's actually called a Q-tip, but the Q-tip in the urethra for like an STD test oh, is horrible, and it still makes me cringe to think about it. No, thank you. Yuck. But I think the last time I had a ball fondling was in junior high when they were giving us like free physicals at school. So like none of your girlfriends have ever fondled your balls? Well, that's what I was going to say. That's why I qualified my statement. Oh, you mean like outside? Medical okay. professional. Yeah. Because um, I've definitely had them and I do enjoy getting them fondled by, you know, women that I'm dating. Strange and... men in the night. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, no, we were talking about it before because I had to get a an exam for, I was talking about getting a vasectomy done. Yep, because there's no more kids, no more kids in your future. No, no more kids in Rob's future. Um, I didn't get it, get a vasectomy, but I had to get the physical. Okay. To see if I uh, qualified, qualified or was a good candidate or whatever. I don't know. I had to get a physical, and you I was to like, see if your credit score was good enough. Yeah, or... exactly. <laughs> I just see if my balls were a 720 or higher, <laughs> which they are, by the way. Sweet. Um. So I had to like they they play this video for you before the physical exam so like the video like answered all like the very basic questions yeah so the doctor doesn't have to like just stand there and look at you and talk about what's gonna happen and answer like all the inane questions that he he's probably already answered a billion times already right so i watched this like 15 minute long video and it, it, it really did it answered every question i would have had about the procedure and the doctor comes back and he's like you have any questions I was like no video answered everything thank you for showing it to me nice he's like all right we're gonna go proceed with the physical exam uh, drop your drop your pants and uh, get up on the table, and like, I've I've gone into like plenty of exams where I've had to have things looked at in sensitive areas. Yeah. Um, and I went into this exam fully knowing that like a doctor was probably going to have to check out my my sack and my wiener. And 
he was very professional. Okay. It was a fine exam. There was nothing wrong with it. I just did not expect him to be as thorough as he was. <laughs> gotcha. Um, so he checked out my balls for, I don't know, a couple minutes maybe? Okay. Maybe four or five minutes. I expected him to just like give him like a quick look around. Yeah. A squeeze here and there and be like, all right, cool. You have balls. Let's get this done, you know? But no, like he was like very, he was like feeling out like all the veins and where, where the, the tubes were and everything. It's going to be such an interesting profession to like train for. Right? <laughs> like, he, I, I got a new hire. He's going to shadow me for a week. Yeah. We're just going to... We're not just going to be looking at, but we're going to be fondling balls for the whole <laughs> week. Because that's your career. Yeah. Um, but the exam was fine. He's like, yeah, you're in, you're in really good health. Everything's fine down there. Just if you go through with the exam, we'll schedule. if you want to go through with it, we'll schedule it. You have to get approval from your wife. Um, and, and when we get it scheduled... Um, you know, make sure you have a ride and everything. Right. Uh, if your wife is driving her, just give you a heads up. Uh, the procedure, you know, I forget how long the procedure is, whatever he told me. This is a while ago now. Oh, fuck. Um, so he, whatever time he told me, however, however long it was, he's like, tell your wife to come maybe like 15 minutes later than what it says on the paper. Okay. Because this is, you're, you're very vascular. I was like, what does that mean? He's like, it just means it's going to take me a little bit longer to to complete the procedure because you're very vascular. Right. Like, yeah, I, I know what vascular means, <laughs> but I don't really fully understand what it means in the in sense this. of my balls being vascular. <laughs> yeah. Can you please be a little bit more thorough in your explanation? Can you get into the details? Is this like, is it a concern that I should be worried about? Yeah. And he's like, no, it just means you have very healthy and abundant veins in your in your testicles. So if you want to, like, shoot up heroin in there. Yeah. <laughs> That's the place to go. <laughs> How vascular are your balls, Ives? I don't know. I've never, <laughs> I've never had them inspected for that purpose before. Well, you were playing Johnny Dangerously over here. I am. Um, so and, and I, I didn't end up getting the, the vasectomy. Not yet, anyway. I will eventually. Um, but yeah, hi highly recommend the ball exam because fuck, if it were a beautiful woman, that would have been enjoyable. Yeah, he did a good job. But since it was an older dude, <laughs> the, super awkward. The irony is for my STD exam with with a Q-tip, I did actually have an attractive female doctor. Of course, doing it, and I'm like, she was like, "Hi, what are you here for today?" She's like, "I'm worried I'm sick in my groin." <laughs> And then, like, she put it in me, and I was like, my dick is going inside me now. <laughs> it's totally not masculine or, like, sexy at all. My Audi's an innie. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> like, I've had the, the exams for... I've been tested for STDs before. Yeah. I've never had to put a Q-tip in my dick. That was the only time. I guess that was just the way they did that particular test. It's really weird. <laughs> Fuck. Oh. I thought he explode he was gonna explode on you. <laughs> That's what he said. Ha <laughs> Shall face the law of It was just one end. Okay. Maybe take the wind out of my sails. That's what I'm here for. With the veins out of my balls. Very vascular. <laughs> Tell your wife to come later. You're very vascular. <laughs> Thank you, doctor. <laughs> this wasn't already weird enough. Speaking of balls and getting the wind knocked out of you, every once in a while I'll play with like Jelly Bean with her rope toy. I, I know where this is going. And I make the mistake of like facing her while I'm playing yep. and she'll let go of the rope toy while she's tugging really hard on it. Right into the dongle, huh? Yep. And it always gets me. I'm amazed you haven't learned your lesson. It's like something you that has to happen to you once. I know. Are, <sighs> are you into that though? Do you like no. you know, a little bit of CBT? Nope. What is CBT? Cock and ball torture? <laughs> no. Um, though the other day I, it was totally my fault and it was stupid because of that having learned my lesson already in the past but 
Yeah. I was playing with Jelly Bean and I was doing a thing where like she was playing with a rope toy and I was pulling her towards me like you you keep saying rope toy. That's like a not a euphemism for your cock, is no. it? No. No, not at all. <laughs> um but I was like doing the thing where I was trying to like boop her nose with my nose, so I was being like cute about it. Now you say nose, you actually mean yes. nose, right? Yes. Okay. And she did the thing and she let go and I like uppercut myself in the face. <laughs> <laughs> By uppercut in the face. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Actually, me in the face. What she got there? She's got her comp? Probably. She oh, she's got her, her antler. She's trying to chew up her antler. Uh, she keeps losing that thing because she keeps dropping it like behind the couch and stuff. It's very slidey. You got wood floors. What do you want? <laughs> Am we going the right way? Yes, you are headed the correct way. Oh, shit. Be careful. Oh, he's a little pipsqueak. Back here. <laughs> he's like, ah, rum, 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 rum. ah, run away. <sighs> there, there, there are a bunch of those, like... Oh, there are no enemies here. Oh, God, there are enemies here. Yeah. Moments. Like camouflage enemies that are ambush you. Precisely, yeah. You just blasted all your money into the pond. That's the one thing that I do feel like Ori is a little more forgiving because they have, like, the uh, magnetic pull of the currency in that game. Yes. So whatever drops you get, as long as it doesn't, like, fall off the screen completely. Uh, you gotta follow that girl that you, that just ran away from you. Okay. Just kill this fuck. <laughs> Little bean! <clears throat> what are you doing? Stuff! <laughs> Stuff and poops. <laughs> like, I talk to her in a cutesy voice when we're out in the backyard, but like, every so often my neighbor will be like in his backyard while we're doing that. And I'll just be thinking to myself, like, this guy probably thinks. I'm fucking this guy probably thinks crazy. I love my dog a whole bunch. Yeah. That's what he thinks. Yeah. <laughs> oh, she's going under the couch. She's going after the antler that's under the couch. Yeah. Did you get it? She's got it. No, maybe she doesn't have it. No, she doesn't. She'll figure it out. Yep, she's got, she's got it. Got it. <laughs> <laughs> All I'm seeing is her butthole right now. That's our our cat Stormy. Yeah. Um. We call her Princess Butt Stuff. Yeah. Because she loves butt stuff. <laughs> you know how how cats like love getting their butts spanked. Yep. You're not a cat owner. Trust me, it's not weird. It's just something that cats like. Um. So Stormy really, anytime like we come near her, she like presents her butt. <laughs> it's like, oh, are you gonna do the thing? Will you pat my butt that I. You should pet my butt. <laughs> I'm like, hi, Stormy. And she's like, meow, putt. <laughs> butt pats. I mean, meow. That's are weird. Yeah, cats are super weird. Inspect. Sure. Just paid $50 to open a gate to a bench. Whee. Good job. You did it. But I think you're going the wrong way. Really? Right. I think so. Wait, wait. In terms of you don't have a map for the area of Green Path yet. Oh, uh, okay. So Makes to, sense. Go to the left, I, I think. I could be wrong, but it doesn't matter. Ooh, there's money mounds. Money mounds. Did the, did the girl in the red coat go up here? I thought I saw her go up this way. That's why I was climbing. But oh, okay, maybe she then, then you are going the right way. We are supposed to be following her. We were talking, so I wasn't super focused. On, and like she only appeared for a half second. Yeah, she runs away pretty quickly. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is the right way. Good shot. Me. You got hit by the uh, 
the goo. The flippity goo. Flippity goo! We're making pretty good progress. Yeah. Going through pretty, uh, pretty quickly as far as... Well, it helps having played get from one thing to the other. ...types of games, so having a, a gist of... Knowing... Because, like, before I play these types of games, I hit, like, a dead end and be like, is this actually a dead end or am I just stupid? But in these games, it's actually a dead end because you don't have the ability yet. Well, yeah, you have to find, like, the super missiles to unlock the green doors. Yeah. But not knowing that, like, when I first played these types of games, I made it a lot more oh, slow going. Much more frustrating, too. Uh, this way or up? I don't know. Let's find out. Do you want to find out on the next one? Sure. Okay. I'm going to let the dog out. Okay. It's me. I let the dog out. Shapoopies.